All right, it's paint time here on this GMC van. We're going to use the De Beers solvent base, and uh, this is, I forget what the color code is, but it's just a pretty basic white. I think it's Olympic white using the uh, Tecna Pro Light here with the 1-4 tip. And just going over the uh, primed up repair areas first. And you notice I painted the whole bottom of the door even though I didn't have repairs over the whole area. Uh, you might as well color that because it's so narrow. So that it all kind of looks the same and I stayed well away from my tape false edge up there. Um, I'm going to do a similar thing here with this area. Just try and get coverage on that primer area. Some of these De Beer colors actually have a what they call an undercoat, which is just a similar colored base coat that they recommend. Uh, I don't know if the white has one or not, but I didn't get any. So it takes a couple of coats to get this covered. But uh, it, this De Beer 500 line solvent base coat really covers pretty quick. So basically just going for that coverage. I'm spraying it about 20 pounds, uh, maybe, full fan that sort of thing. I'll go ahead and uh, mosey on. You can sort of see the primer a little bit still through that first coat that went over it so just gonna go ahead and whack a second coat on it here and try and get it all hidden. Um, one thing you gotta watch with a lot of white base coats if you don't reduce them enough and you're doing a blend it will get real grainy on you really fast. Um, this one, I want to say I maybe over reduced it by 5%. So this is a 1 to 1 reduction ratio. And I probably put a little extra splash in it. Not much. Just want it to go down pretty slick. Otherwise, you can end up with a mess on your hands. Also, uh, paying attention to temperatures and reducer temperature is sort of important. Um, I don't know why, it, maybe it's just me, but with the white colors, they just tend to get dry really fast. So you'll get sort of a texture outside of your repair area where the base coat sort of dried too quick because you're not making it super wet out there. Um, and I'm not an expert at doing reverse blends where you start outside and work your way into the repair area. So we just do it this way and sort of fan it off at the end of each stroke. Uh, again, you can see I'm not bringing the gun up too awfully high toward that masking that's up above my head level there because that's where we're going to do a solvent melt on the clear coat here after a while. So there's two coats of base for you. And let's see, are we on to the clear? It looks like we're on to the clear, so I'm going to use the Iwata LPH 400. I have the 1.4 tip in it, and I believe that this is... AC 200 MS clear coat, uh, 4 to 1 ratio, uh, medium hardener, spraying it at about 22 pounds, I believe. And I've got the orange cap on the Iwata here, too. Um, I kind of bounce back and forth between the orange and the silver cap. This AC 200 MS is probably one of the thinnest clear coats I have ever sprayed in my life. Uh, they even say you can put up to 5% reducer in it. Now the funny thing about this clear is it seems to me that it almost needs a slower uh, activator in it because it just doesn't want to flow out very well. Um, I also have the temperature in the shop probably 80 degrees um, it, which shouldn't be too too hot for it but Anyways, that first coat of clear, you can see I stayed a little ways away from that tape. Um, we got over the base coat on the first coat, and then on the second coat, we'll get right up to it. Trying not to spray up under it. I'm purging the air out of my uh, disposable cup here. I forgot to do that before I started, and spraying upside down doesn't work so good. But I just go ahead and get her done. Spray it like you want it to look. Um, one thing we'll we'll do first is spray all the offsets, and I spray the bottom of the uh, areas closest to the floor just to try and make sure that I get those wet up because once we get some overspray in the air, it gets real hard to see. So we'll just put this first coat on, try and get it to close up. 
Um, again, it looks like I'm spraying real, real slow, and I've got my face really close to it. Um, the last, uh, the last white vehicle I sprayed was quite a while ago, and I've also got sunglasses on here. And my problem is I get a terrible glare uh, from my portable work light there, but if I don't have it, I really can't see what's going on. So we're putting it on pretty good. And if I remember, this uh, I really had to pound it on. It's been a while since I actually filmed this video. Um, I just haven't had time to do this portion of the voiceover and uh, get it going for you guys. So I know this is not one of my longer videos, but it just kind of shows what's going on. And with the white, I'm not a big proponent of walking the panel end to end. I kind of like to stay in one section and go back and forth because um, I get lost real, real easy. Um, none of the other colors really give me a problem except for white. White for me tends to be a, a kind of a procedure painting. You know, make sure your overlap is good, make sure your gun is spraying right, and uh, sometimes you end up having trouble seeing where your wet edge is. So kind of paint by braille and have your technique right and do your thing otherwise you end up with dry spots and uh, yeah you get more practice time on the buffer and uh, wet sanding again it looks like I'm just creeping along here but that's mostly because I want to make sure I got good tight overlap on this and uh, we don't run into any issues Now, as soon as I get done with the second coat of this clear, I will pull that masking off and uh, go ahead and hit it with some edge blending solvent. And I'm not sure, but at one point in this video, my SD card became corrupted, and I don't even know if I have my second coat of clear or not. I believe all you get to see is the first coat. And that's it, unfortunately. I guess that's the price we pay for trying to make videos. But at any rate, enough of me jabbering on here. I believe I'm going to slip some music in here for you guys to listen to. And uh, we'll uh, let you finish off watching it without having to listen to me.